and lack of information is causing a huge amount of uncertainty in Glencore, which is having a massive contagion effect right across the world. It's a quasi-Lehman's moment. It's still extraordinary that a FTSE 100 company can have a week like this, down 30% on Monday, get it all back by the end of Thursday. There was a lot of short positions in the market and some hedge funds we know have taken prominent positions short on the stock. Um, and that seems to coalesce around that report and produce this extraordinary dive that we saw on Monday morning. Glencore have mounted a pretty strong defence in the last few days. They've been really active talking to journalists like us, uh, their lenders, uh, their shareholders about why the company actually has a lot of liquidity and can, you know, plenty of strength to survive uh, in the short term. The perception of the market is totally distorted versus reality. Focus on the communication and, of course, address the market concerns. In our case, in 2011, we acted quickly to reduce the balance sheet, uh, to uh, uh, communicate on, on false perception. I'm sure Ivan has said I will work on the reduction of my leverage or my debt. As long as he's convinced, and I'm sure that he has a good business, both on trading and mining, he will be able to fail this crisis. Glencore have a degree of high quality assets in Australia. Um, they are a significant player in our resources space. And as far as international uh, market stability is concerned, um, hopefully we'll see, uh, you know, we'll see that stability come back and companies like Glencore um, return to a strong market position. There is a tactical pop coming in commodities. The oil supply demand balance is now in much better shape over the next 6 to 12 months. The, you know what the difficulty is? It's looking three to five years ahead. When you add up the demand and supply side, it still doesn't look very good for commodities, frankly, particularly on a return basis. Or as an investor, I think commodities still look pretty ropey for the long term. But over the next 6 to 12 months, I think uh, a better outlook does, does beckon.